Hi, it's Mike here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving the T-34-100 uh, on Naval Frontier. Bottom tier, we're going up to the med side. Um, while the gameplay is warming up, we'll just have a quick look at the guns. The lower level gun is the 85mm. Um, it's a tier 7 gun and it's got a reload. Uh, it's got a DPM of 2375 and the average penetration is 126. Uh, we only carry 56 shells with this one. The, the bigger gun, the tier 8, is 100 mil. It's got a DPM of 2145, but there is only 30 shells that you can carry. I know that the firing rate is a lot less, but if you get yourself into a long battle, um, you can end up running out of shells in this one. I'm not quite sure why it has so few shells. Uh, question for Wargaming. Getting back to the battle, we can see the the Bulldog there is taking some chunks out of an ISU who appears to be AFK. Um, we've got the Reds have pushed around the left hand side and our team is split all across the map. The, uh, the 87 is going across the middle there and um, the Bulldog's pushing on left. It looks like the, uh, the ISU's gone down. So being as there's nobody on this side of the map, I'm going to go in and try and help the, uh, the Bulldog against that T25-2. The KV-3 is going over there to help him now. He's, um, he's using his speed to try and get around him. Hopefully circling that KV-3. We'll see some shots going in. See if we can try and get some chunks off this T25-2. He's uh, doing his best to battle that 87 coming up that side there. He's, uh, he's in a bad position though. It's got a good, nice alpha. It's about 300 damage on this uh, the T34-100, and oh, I'm just unfortunate to miss that one there. Let's see, we're doing quite well. We've got five versus four now. Um, the VK-168, big heavy, hasn't taken a scratch as yet, and the Bulldogs pursuing them vigorously down that left-hand side. In terms of the opposition, we've got a T-34-100, same as me, full he full health. Um, let's see if we can get some shots on him here. Um, there's a T-29 as well, a KV-5, and an Indy Zen, I think, is there. There are the tanks that remain. Can't quite get a shot on him there. It's, it's as if sometimes it's as if they uh, all gave me hide the tanks from me. I know, it's, <laughs> it's very frustrating, I find it. Can't get anywhere with those shots. Currently, we're in a little bit of trouble here. We're four versus three. Um, we've got the 87, 8015. We've got the VK 168, and just me left. Trying to get in a reserve verse side scrape position here. Fortunately, took out that KV5. Managed to hit his lower plate. The T29 is left there. Uh, so it is the Indy and the T34 100. Can we get a shot into this T29 now? No, just bounce that one. Maybe need to use ACPR. Oh, he put some heat on it. Should be able to get him now without in the front plate. The AT 15s up there. It looks like they're focusing on him. I've got a nice position here. It's very hard to hit me. I'm this reverse side scrape. You just hit the hit the turret. And it's got quite a strong turret. C34. It looks like our VK 168 uh, is gone AFK. He's not firing. He's not moved. And uh, it's essentially now a two versus two, even though we are a tank up. Their T34-100 is on full H HP, just like me. We'll have to go down and see if I can try and help the AT-15 survive, at least distract this other guy. Um, took, a, took a shot for it. Let's see if we can get one back into him. I know they're focusing on the, uh, the AT-15, trying to finish him off. T-34-100 is doing a good job. It's not going to survive for much longer though. It's taking some chunks out of the Indy Zen. Now, it's essentially a 2 versus one here. I need to try and finish off that Indy Zen and then see if we can deal with the, um, the T-34. Another 263 damage from him from behind there. Now, it, we're doing the old circle of doing very even, very even HP, but you see that he's only done 114 damage to me here and uh, the game's been running on four and a half minutes somehow I missed that one, I'm not quite sure what happened there but that was a wasted shot and you see another 102 damage, so he's obviously firing HE at me so I think he's fallen foul of this uh, this 30 shell <laughs> loadout that we've got 
on this particular top tier gun, um, which is the reason I've only, I only ever carry two two HE shells on this one, whereas I would normally carry a 421 loadout. You see, there we've managed to carry the game luckily because of the the shell choice that this guy had. Um, interesting, interesting game. Ended up with mastery, 3.4k damage, um, nice four kills. And uh, but it all came down to shell choice in the end. It was interesting, interesting why this tank has got so many fewer shells than quite a lot of the other tanks. Um, if you're firing, you know, throughout the game, it's very easy to go through 30 shells, especially if it lasts on five, six minutes. Something to bear in mind if you're driving this tank. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, we'll see you for the next one. Mirage Mike, over and out.